Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today we're going to do a video on Aves Epoxy Sculpt Water vs. Safety Solvent that Aves actually makes for their product. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is to show you guys an in-depth uh, video on why you should actually invest in safety solvent and make your life easier. I uh, The reason why I'm doing this is one is when in a lot of my videos I talk about using safety solvent or I'm using safety solvent and I don't explain why. Uh, and the other reason why is... Uh, Back in the day when I first used, uh, you know, Aves when I was doing some custom bow and design stacks, just getting into the hobby, probably around like 2003, 2004, somewhere around there, I was using water, and the next day after I did a, like a, rebuilt the whole chest on an item, the next day I started trying to sand it and work on it, and literally the pieces of Aves were just deteriorating and soft, and I didn't know why. I called up Aves and I asked them, and I, they said, "Did you mix equal parts?" I said, "Yes." Did they? Then they said, "Did you use any of our safety solvent?" I said, "No, I used water." And they said, "Well, you can't use water with Aves because it deteriorates it and it breaks it apart because the Aves soaks up the water." So lesson learned. Ever since then, I just get the safety solvent. And also, I just did a video recently where I uh, showed how to do uh, wrinkles on boots. And in the video, I said. Uh, you should always use safety solvent versus water and uh, two people contacted me and they didn't know that and I explained it to them so I figured let's just do a video so I can explain to everybody and actually show you in real time. So what we have here is we have a container of water, we have a container of safety solvent. This is a hardened piece of resin with uh, used safety solvent and this is a hardened piece of uh, A's used with water. We'll get to those in a second, but I want to show you exactly what happens when you use fresh uh, A's uh, with water and safety solvent. So this right here is the safety solvent. This A's I just mixed up like literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, I worked on an item and I got this extra A's, so I figured it would be a great uh, opportunity to do a video on this. So uh, I use paint brushes for all my sculpting. Uh, I get these cheap every year when I have back to school sales. They go to hell after a few sculpts but it's just easier for me to sculpt with these so right here this is um just aves uh now real quick i use red aves for all my sculpting because i find that it's easier to see versus the natural color uh the only reason why i got into the red is they had a sale on the ave site and i just started buying up the red and it just finds it easier to see um, so if you dip your finger in safety solvent, I know people are like, oh, you shouldn't dip your finger in the chemicals. I don't care personally. If you want to, you can use gloves. So if you mix it together with the safety solvent and fresh Aves, and even if your Aves is kind of getting a little bit hardened after like an hour or two, you can actually soften it back up with the safety solvent. Now, uh, you can keep mixing this stuff up till it gets very pasty. Now, you can't get it to the point where it's like toothpaste and it kind of goes on like a putty, like a really soft putty. But you can get it to where you really want to get it into a piece. So you can get it really soft and it gets, uh, you know, pretty there. Let me grab an item real quick. So this is an item that I used to I used to work on, test a lot of stuff. It's an old custom that just went to hell. So uh, as you can see right here, what we'll do is we'll do it on the back of her. Okay, so if you take your safety solvent and say you, and you use it with A's, and you work it on an item, you can get it nice and soft, you know, you can work on an item, you could kind of do some sculpting, it gets really soft going like that. The only problem with the safety solvent, if you use too much of it on primer or paint, it will bring up the paint because it is kind of a solvent. So you will start to mess up the paint, but, you know, it goes on really, so if you're doing like a fresh sculpt and you're not doing a repair, you could kind of really get it to move and you can get it to really go where you want it. It goes nice and smooth, you know, working with the paintbrush or even a tool if you're into rather tools instead of paintbrushes, you could kind of really get it going and kind of go to places. So you can, and then if you want, you can use your finger, you know, it goes on nice and smooth. And if you don't make it too uh, pasty, like that, we made it really pasty. So if you just use the fresh shaves, it goes, but it'll, it'll come up on your finger with all the paint. So, to give you another example, so this is the A's right here where we didn't mix a lot of safety solvent in it. So if you want, you could kind of throw a little bit of safety solvent on there and you could kind of really, let's just put it flat for now. So you could get really nice curves, you can kind of, you know, you let the paintbrush and the tool go and the safety solvent helped you kind of work it. Now if you have a sculpting tool, 
and you dip it in there with a little safety solvent, you can kind of make a nice little edge going in a way. And you can kind of give yourself a nice little line. You can go like this. And it really doesn't pull it that much, you know. You could kind of really get in there. So let's get a little bit closer if we can. So you can really work it with the safety solvent. And the cool thing about the safety solvent is the ease doesn't really bring it up. It doesn't absorb it. I mean, it softens it up, but it won't destroy your aves at the end. It'll keep you know stiff when it all cures. You know, and then also too, it stays wet. And you can see your sculpt. So, like, if you were, like, say, I don't know, say you want to, you're sculpting, and then you want to do, like, some Spider-Man lines, you know? You could kind of see what you're doing, in a way. You know, and then you can smooth it out a bit. I don't know, you could just, you could just run with it. And it goes really smooth. When it cures, it cures up very well. So that's, like, you know, you, you really good with uh, the safety cell. Now... What we'll do is we'll go over here to this with water. So if we take a little piece and we dip our finger in here with the water and we start trying to get ourselves a like a pasty type thing, as you can see it's starting to turn like whitish and you start to get this like you know residue type stuff looking on it. It like the water starts actually breaking it down. And, well, not breaking, well, kind of breaking it down, but also the aves absorbs it, and then it gets thicker. It absorbs, and it gets like, uh, almost kind of, I guess, expands in a way. I don't know, it's weird. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you use water. Uh, I talked to the guys that, uh, you know, owner of aves, and he says you don't use water, but they also told me that they've talked to other sculptors where the sculptors have been using aves for so long that they can actually sculpt something and dip it in water and let it sit there for a while and it, ca it cracks up and it breaks and stuff and they can actually get like a really cool texture by doing that. So it's not the end of the world if you use water, but if you really want to get into it and start sculpting and making some good seam lines and stuff like that, get the safety solvent. So what we'll do here now is, so if we roll this, if we put this down on here, right, and then say we have, you know, you're sculpting it or you're building muscles and you start using the water, what it is, it, it's not letting me pull like the safety solvent does. It, the water kind of like grabs. And then as you can start to see, it starts getting whiter. If you put the water on there. And uh, and what it does is it really starts to cake up on the brush too, in a way. So if you kind of want to go around and then you want to kind of... It, it, it just, it doesn't like go smooth. It doesn't let you do that nice smooth motion. It just grabs. Now, I mean... If you wanted to sculpt rocks, or you wanted to sculpt like a texture with these, like, you know, maybe this water would be better. So, you know, it, it, it just doesn't really want to grab. So now if you grab a tool, and then you dip it in water and you pull it, you get a little bit more resistance on it. Like, I'm try I'm, I have to do a little bit more resistance trying to pull this now. Alright, and then say you want to do your lines. It grabs it and it pulls it a little bit more. And you got to put a little bit more pressure into it. And as you can kind of see the difference, this is kind of a little bit whiter and milky. And this is still nice and smooth and shiny versus the two. So, like I say, if you really want to get into it and you really want to get yourself some safety solvent. Uh, I've had a one friend that used alcohol. And then, uh, I, like I said, I use water back in the day and basically just go to the safety cell and make life easier. So over here, these are two pieces that are hardened. So this is just regular aves that I've used and I use this with safety solvent and I was working on an item. And then the next day afterwards, it's, uh, you know, it, it takes a little bit to cut it. You know, it's really still tough. I mean, it balances and everything works. Now this item here, I worked with a lot of water. And you can see how the next day, it's got all this white residue all over it. So what happens is the outside of it comes right off. It just scrapes right off. Uh, the inner core kind of stays hard, but the outside, like all this white residue is like the water with the aves absorbing. So if you sculpt in an item, right, and you did a lot of good detail, and then the next day, you know, you put primer on it, this stuff you can, you know, you can actually use your fingernail. 
and just scrape it right off the thing. So if this had all this detail and then like you just hit it with the tool or you go to mask it or you, you know, use your finger, it just comes off. So you can actually see all this little powder stuff that's coming right off of it. See? All that stuff is just scraping right off easily. So that's the bad thing about water, and you don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, the inner core is fine, I guess you could say, but the outer of it is just all uh, caked up and stuff. So if you were to go to sand this, right? Like say if you just wanted to kind of fine sand this a little bit, like you just took off all that detail, and you really it just went right through there. Like you literally just took all that off. Like say if you wanted the sand edges that you use with the safety solvent, you can hear it. It's kind of you know, and I didn't really even scrape that much, and it took it hardly took anything off. Here, you know, you can you can hear it just like the the, the sandpaper is just taking that right off. So all that detail and all that just came right off that piece. So you know, this just gives you an idea if you really want to work with the A's, you want to do some customs, or you want to do some repairs, invest in the safety solvent. Um, the other thing too is. Uh, I have the safety sound glued to this block of wood only because uh, the art store that I was going to didn't really, uh, they didn't have the metal ones, the big metal ones that don't really topple over so I had to get the plastic ones so I just glued it to the piece of wood. I don't really go through a lot of safety solvent while doing stuff because usually I dip my brush in and then I put it onto a uh, paper towel. That's just to get any kind of like residue off of it and I go back to sculpting. I lose all my safety solvent when I accidentally knock over the containers. That's where I pretty much lose it all. So I have to, I'm waiting for the art store to get the big ones back in stock and I can get the bigger ones again. But for now, what I do is that. So, but this like little containers, the little top flow over. So that's the only difference how I lose a lot of my uh, safety solvent. Um, like real quick too, if we take this item and say we want to, I don't know. We're going to put this on here. We'll grab the this brush with water and then when you want to try to get this nice and smooth it gets very milky and it really doesn't and if you use your finger on it you get a lot of residue going all over the place with the water now I'm not saying that like right now if I did this and then I let it dry it's the end of the world the water's not going to destroy it but if you're sitting there you know and you're doing like some detailing work and you're doing this and you're dipping in water you know, and then you're doing this, and then you kind of want to, you know, make a line, and then you're doing that, and you keep using water, by the next day, you're probably going to get something like that, and that's what you don't want. So, I mean, uh, that, that right there is just a little quick video for you guys, um, the difference between using water and safety solvent. So, if I, like, if I were you, um, you know, just get yourself some safety solvent and make your life easier with Aves, and, you, and if you've been using water for a long time, or alcohol, and then you get the safety solvent, you'll notice a huge difference. Now... The other thing too is say you just have a little container of uh, A's and you're only doing little type of stuff, you're not doing full blown customs, you really don't need to get a, a safety solvent. Uh, they told me what you could do is you could just spit on your finger and you could use some saliva. I'm not saying you hock a loogie on your finger, but you can just like, you know, just uh, get some saliva on your finger, get a paintbrush and you can use it to smooth it out. So the saliva won't really you know, absorb into the A's as much as the water will or the safety solvent. So it's just a little bit of a tip that they gave me too, but get yourself some safety solvent it'll make your life a lot easier so hopefully that helped you guys out gives you a little bit more input on like what i do and when i'm sculpting while i'm always using the safety solvent so thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos